welcome back to That Fiction Life. Today we are doing a book recommendations video. I adore murder mysteries, but not just in books. And Riverdale has been one of my favourite TV shows over the last few years. So I thought what better way to celebrate the finale of season three than to recommend some books that are ideal if you're a fan of the show, because now we have an entire summer to wait for the next season. So if you aren't new to my channel we do all sorts of reviews, vlogs and pop culture discussions so if you are interested in any of those things I would love if you subscribed. So in true Riverdale fashion I absolutely had to, oh my gosh this looks like bat wings, this is everything. <laughs> of course I had to rep Southside Serpent because I'm very obsessed with them and I would love to join their leagues if that was at all possible. And without further ado I'm going to begin my list. is To Can Keep a Secret by Karen McManus, who is a master at writing murder thrillers. I've had her on my channel twice now. She has such a great insight into the genre because she's a little bit of a murderina herself. So this book is set in a town of Echo Ridge, which is notorious for having a few unsolved crimes in its history. And Ellery and Ezra move there to live there with their grandmother and get totally caught up in the town's mysteries because it looks as though the killer is returning and so we are genuinely attempting to solve multiple murders in this book. The last chapter kind of makes you question your whole life. I have a full spoiler free review on this book so I will link it down below if you'd like to hear more. The next book on my list is All These Beautiful Strangers by Elizabeth Clayforth. So in Riverdale there are quite a few secret societies I will say forming throughout the series and in this book we follow Charlie Calloway who is very desperate to join the A's which is a secret society at her boarding school. And these people do not really get up to any good. And so when she's actually invited to participate in all the trials, she jumps at the chance. There is also the disappearance of her mother weighing down on her and things start unraveling and messages from the past start appearing. We take an in-depth look into her family, which is very key to Riverdale because some of the stuff with the Blossoms and the Coopers, we all love that kind of family drama and this is ideal for that because there are so many squabbles between everyone but then there's all these dangerous things that start occurring and it's such a whirlwind. Number three on my list is The Devouring Grey by Christine Lynn Herman. There is a diner on the back of the cover. Is that not Pops? Now the plot of this book is something that I absolutely adore reading about and that is founding families of a town. So again we have a creepy little town with tons of history, it's very atmospheric with an unsettling vibe to it and I think that's what I love about Riverdale because you think you're just watching some teenagers get up to no good but really there's something very very creepy going on and you feel it even in the most mundane scenes. So this book follows Violet and she is a descendant of one of the founders. She's treated very distantly by everyone else which is clearly suspicious and on the side of that you have these bodies turning up in the woods which sets our teenage gang in this book to of course pursue that because welcome to young adult. The interesting thing about this book it's, it has a little bit of a supernatural feel to it because it has a big focus on tarot cards which I think are incredibly interesting and in the review copy that I received they were cards slotted in to the actual scenes that they refer to which I thought was so clever. So if you enjoy very haunting books this one's definitely for you. So number four we have the truth about keeping secrets. So this is the review copy which is not the final cover. I'll put that just up here. This is what it looks like. Isn't it beautiful? It follows a main character whose father was the psychiatrist of the town so he knew everyone's secrets and then he gets into an accident. So Sydney, our main protagonist, starts to get very suspicious because he knew everything about all these people and the darkest parts of them. So in this book we kind of deal with is she being paranoid or did something actually go down? The homecoming queen is randomly at his funeral without having known him. If you like being misled in a particular direction, which Riverdale has done a ton of times, 
the whole Jason thing, I just, oh, the way that was revealed to us, wasn't it just horrific? So if you definitely like that aspect of the show, this book is definitely for you. Now this does have a few content warnings and trigger warnings, which are on Savannah Brown's website, who is the author. So I will link that down below if you would like to check it out before you consider getting the book. Now this last book is a little bit different but I absolutely had to include it because it definitely has that criminal being chased by teenagers theme and that is The Naturals by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. Jennifer is one of my favourite authors of all time and mainly because of the psychological aspects she includes in her books. We dive very deep into the psychology of the criminals that we encounter. Now this book follows teenagers that work for the government and they are in this particular group called the Naturals who are exceptionally skilled in a certain area of profiling. So what they do is kind of try to get inside the murderer's heads and figure out what they're going to do next. And that's the reason I put this on the list because I feel like in Riverdale, Betty and the Black Hood had a very, very creepy link. And in this book, there are alternating chapters from the killer's perspective, which have me absolutely shook to the core it's very chilling so this had to go on my list even though it doesn't have the creepy town aspect to it but it for sure has that kind of cat and mouse chase that the Riverdale gang and all the killers on Riverdale have going on now please don't let this cover fool you I really am not a fan I think it's very misleading I promise you this book is very dark just for a little bit of context the US covers are absolutely stunning now this is the third book in the series I love how subtle the American covers are skulls and crime scene tape on the other books in the series <sighs> whereas this is what we got in the UK and so that's the end of my list. I hope you got some really good book recommendations from it. Do let me know in the comments which of these books sounds the most intriguing to you. And I absolutely adore reading people's opinions. If you're not already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So that's all I have for you today. Thank you so, so much for watching this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.